Now, the Ghana Immigration Service says it has refused entry to several passengers who could have posed a risk to the country from the novel coronavirus pandemic. The refusals, in line with the travel advisory issued last Sunday, affect passengers arriving from countries with 200 or more cases of COVID-19. Addressing a news conference to update the public about measures to contain the spread of the pandemic, Deputy Comptroller General Lord Fourier Fifa listed several instances where international passengers were turned away. In one instance, it says a whole flight was turned away. So far, as of yesterday, on the 16th March, we refused to Italians entry who were traveling in on Air France. In fact, we did not allow them to descend back because we normally have the travel advice from the airlines. We screen it and see who is on board before they come. So the two Italians were noted on the Air France flight and the team went in, the joint team of the Ghana Immigration Service and the Port Health authorities went on board and explained the situation to them and they were refused and they were not allowed to them back. They returned with the flight. Yesterday, 17th of March, 24 Chinese were refused entry and also one German also under the same circumstances, with a kick-in of the travel ban at 1 p.m. This morning, there is an incident in Abidjan. The airport is closed due to an incident on the tarmac. So flights were being diverted to Ghana. In consultation with the civil aviation, all those flights were refused landing and sent back. One Ethiopian airline flights that landed without permission. The passengers were not allowed to descend back. They were refueled and they continued on their journey. The flight statistics that we have indicate that there has been a drastic drop in passenger inflow, especially on the major airlines. So for yesterday, for instance, British Airways, which would normally bring in about 350 passengers, brought in 140. KLM would normally bring in about 450 daily, brought in 128. Air Portugal, which would normally bring in about 150, brought in 12. Kenya Airways, which would normally bring in about 120, brought in 66.